students worldwide. Edward Snowden's believed to remain in a transit area of a Moscow airport one week after leaving Hong Kong. On Saturday, Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa said Vice President Joe Biden called him to urge a rejection of Snowden's asylum bid. What a difference between Vice President Biden and those poorly raised congressmen and senators threatening the country. It was a very friendly, even cordial conversation. Of course, we discussed the topic of Snowden, for which he communicated a very courteous request from the United States that we reject asylum. I told him what the Ecuadorian position is. Vice President, thank you for your call. We very much appreciate the United States. We have not gone in search of this situation. We are not anti-U.S., which is what certain negative-thinking members of the media have said. On Sunday, President Correa followed up by saying Russia is now in control of Snowden's fate. Despite rumors his government issued Snowden a special travel document, Correa says his government cannot process Snowden's asylum bid until he reaches Ecuador or one of its embassies. In a public message to Snowden, Correa also urged the whistleblower to, quote, keep your spirits high, adding, quote, knowing that you acted in accord with your conscience can give you peace. Speaking to ABC News, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange criticized the U.S. for revoking Snowden's passport, but said no amount of government pressure can stop the publication of his leaks. No stopping the publishing process at this stage. Um, great care has been taken to make sure uh, that Mr. Snowden uh, can't be pressured uh, by any state uh, to stop the uh, publication uh, process. Um, I mean, the, the United States, by cancelling his passport, has left him, for the, uh, for the moment, um, uh, marooned uh, in Russia. Is that really a, a great outcome uh, by the State Department? Is that really what it wanted to do? Um, I think that every citizen uh, has the right to their citizenship, uh, to, to take someone's uh, principal component of citizenship, their passport, away from them uh, is a disgrace. 